The landscape of Wales has sculpted who we are as a nation. The majestic sweep of our hills and valleys seem timeless. But over centuries, this land has seen dramatic transformation. And you can explore the story of that change through the Canevin Project. The tithe maps of Wales were created in the 1840s, and there is one map for almost every parish in Wales. Together, these beautiful documents create a national portrait of Wales at a pivotal point in our nation's history. The Canevin Project is conserving, digitising and exploring these maps to make the treasure trove of information they contain available to anyone, online, for free. It's amazing that the tithe maps were made in the you know, 1840s. It was a key time to the development of South Wales. You know, we get the railway lines are coming through at that sort of point, so we're seeing it change from agriculture through to industry. Population explodes around those railway lines and around the mines that have been sunk going further into the South Wales valleys. Um, you're just seeing so much evidence of activity and change. The tithe maps show the fledgling railway network as it starts to snake across the landscape. But this was not the passenger network we are familiar with today. The railways were there to transport materials needed in industry, like coal, iron ore, dolomite, bringing it to the works to make iron and later steel. But it also was there to transport coal to the docks these new connections change the fortunes of many towns. The line under construction on these maps would eventually link the docks of Cardiff to the iron and coal industry of Merthyr. This trade relationship would go on to transform Cardiff from the small town that existed in the 1800s to the capital city of Wales. When you look at the tithe map and you look all the way through to modern day maps, you've got so much that is consistent. You've got properties that were there throughout that period. The field patterns are still exactly the same. Tracks running through the sort of hillsides are the same. And so you can really um, imagine people on the same paths that you now walk. The Canavian Project is digitising the maps to make them available to everyone. Beyond this, we are working with volunteers across Wales to catalogue the information on the maps so that it can be easily searched. Anyone can volunteer online with a project. All you need is internet access, so you can do it from home or you can do it from a local library, for example. If you volunteer with a project um, and contribute to the project, you are creating a connection between the past and the present. Um, and as well as that, you uh, gain extra skills as well, IT skills and knowledge about historical documents and the history of Wales and local history. I've put quite a lot of hours into volunteering on Canevin. Um, and so often you're doing it and you come across really interesting little asides. Like I was looking at the Abergavenny maps and I'm going back and forward in time and seeing how the area around where I live has changed so much, so that's like a little bonus. You can help the Canevin Project investigate the history of Wales by visiting our website, canevin.wales. Join us now and start your journey through the history and heritage of the landscape of Wales. Thank you.